Hey guys, thanks for joining me. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. Hello, peoples. Welcome to Sharp Ends. I have a collection of knives around this box here, which will give you a hint about what's in here. And maybe you read the title. Who knows? Crazy here. Things have happened. All right, so I'm going to open this guy up. Probably should have gone ahead and at least gotten it out of this box. This is actually a knife that I've had for a while. So what do all those knives have in common? Ding, ding, ding. You are right. They are all from Way of Knife. They have something to do with Way of Knife or EDC Gearhouse. So... EDC Gearhouse um, does, they sell, like, you know, they have sprint runs. So, like, this ProTech, this is the Rock Eye. This came from them. They're, they have these midnight blue handles whenever they sell uh, uh, an exclusive, right? And then they have the Spyderco here. Titanium, this is the Spidey Chef. Awesome, right? I got their version of it. I like their their blue titanium handles. I think it's really cool. really like this Abelmarl button in here, too. Very cool. And then I should just point out two other things. Number one, this Demco AD 20.5 I got. This is the flat titanium 3V version. I sent it into them and I asked them, hey, could you please do a custom design? And I was allowed to give like one or two words of like what I want the theme to be. And I said, I want science fiction. And so what did they do? They did... They, they did uh, Mars Attacks, which is one of my favorite movies, uh, Tim Burton movies. Just absolutely great. And I really like how they did these scales. And in fact, and they also, you know, I had a, a deep carry clip here that I put on aftermarket. They had done a McNasty finish on that. They polished up the hardware. Uh, I don't like that they put Mars Attack on the blade itself, but, you know, I get it. Uh, but this made this a very nice knife to carry on certain occasions, and I really liked their professional, their level of work. And the first thing I got from Way of Knife was actually these Paisley scales here for the uh, rat, Ontario rat. So I had this, like, tuxedo rat, which I, you know, R2-D2 tuxedo, which is, you know, just, it looks so nice, right? But uh, anyway... So, that's all to say that I had a Chevis 229, which is very nice, and it was one of 100 full uh, D uh, DLC over the entire knife. I mean, really beautiful, right? Uh, I thought to myself, you know what would look really cool on that? Well, let me just show you. Let's see. I, this is the first time I'm looking at it. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. So, they have bronzed the hardware. And they have etched out and done candy skulls with the Paisley. Look at that. And this is the kickstop version, right? My God. Now this knife looks so special, so good. The engraving on this and the etching is phenomenal. So Way of Knife, EDC Gearhouse, you guys really slammed this one out of the park. I I got their I so I got their paisley. I asked for their paisley uh, finish, which is one hundred and fifty five dollars. And then I said, listen, in my notes, I wrote, I'd really like this to be day, dead themed. And so they did the candy skulls here, and they wrote me back, and they said we can do that. They charge you twenty five dollars extra for the artwork. I would usually charge fifty. I think they basically gave me a discount because they knew that this pattern, this uh, new pattern, if they put a couple of samples up, was definitely going to sell. Uh, so I think they gave me a little bit of a discount. Um, but yeah, this is super sweet. I really like how they bronze this. I didn't ask for that. I just asked for the etching. Um, and, the, I, you know, they just did that themselves. So, you know, oh, and they bronzed the backspacer too. So they ended up taking the DLC coating off of the handles entirely is that true and then they paint yeah because then they etched it out the negative area and then they put their own black coating inside there very interesting they even took so even the lock bar insert screw they even took that out and anodized it If you don't know about the Chevis 229, the kickstop version of this, this isn't actually a flipper tab. It kicks it out and deploys. And the kicker tab is now uh, right in there. It doesn't come out here, right? This is M360. This knife uh, is just phenomenal now. It feels really special. 
it's something I'm definitely going to be carrying around on Halloween and stuff like that and other times as well. But this is a pride of the collection right now. I can definitely tell you this is one of the, the coolest knives I've had worked on. And I just love, absolutely love looking at this. I'm going to love handing this off to some of my friends. Mm, mm, mm. That is special. So what do I think about uh, EDC Gearhouse Way of Knife? I think that you should keep an eye out on them, on them because sometimes they have exclusives like this. And sometimes you have a knife that is like the Demco 8020.5. A lot of people have it and stuff, and it's a great knife and it looks nice, but you want to do something just a little bit extra special for it. Um, and sometimes that kind of project knife. Now, I have knives that I've built myself that have, you know, been a project knife. Like this guy was basically all of my choices, hardware, everything. The only thing that's the same on this is the liners and the blade right? Um, so I do my own kind of stuff, right? But this, I can't do this. So, you know, when you have an idea and those guys are so responsive and you're like, listen, I want a Day of the Dead themed laser etching with the Paisley. And they're like, we can do that. And then they turn out something like that for you. They're responsive. They're nice. And in fact, I should also say that when I first got these scales, I unboxed them and it was not what I wanted or what I thought it was going to be. And they sent me a replacement pair immediately. And they just had me keep the old ones. They said, don't worry about it. Just just take the ones that you want. Um, and so I did. So, yeah, very responsive. Very good guys over there. Highly recommend keeping them on your radar, checking them out. Um, I'll, I'll put a link down below for them. But yeah, they, they always have really cool stuff coming in and out. And their Instagram is really fun to follow because they're doing special builds and projects all the time. So you'll see some really cool stuff there as well. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. If you could leave a comment, it really helps the channel. Have you ever gotten anything from EDC Gearhouse uh, retrofitted or done any work with them? I'd love to know about it. If you want to enter to win a knife of the month, all you got to do is click the Patreon link below. And for $3 a month, you too can be entered to win a knife of the month. Thanks so much, peoples. And I'll see you next time on Sharp Ends. Bye-bye now.